NixOS makes configuring Linux very simple. One option to enable this, one line to configure that, all possible without ever having to think about any dependencies or imperative steps. But then you look at your NeoVim configuration and realize that it does not only take hundreds of lines to get a pretty basic setup, but also possibly several manual steps, a ton of dependencies and compilers, and don't even get me started on language servers. And so you think, what if there was a solution that brings the comfort of Nix's ways to your NeoVim configuration? And fortunately, such solution is the topic of today's video, a NeoVim configuration framework called NVF. NVF focuses on the same points that NixOS does, making your configured NeoVim portable, reproducible and declarative using Nix as the configuration language. Its strong points include excellent documentation, pretty uncommon in the Nix ecosystem, and of course its flexibility, allowing you to create a configuration in under 10 minutes or spend weeks going above and beyond with customization. To see what is possible to achieve with NVF, you can try out one of the example configurations, both of which can be run with a single command without leaving behind any garbage in your user environment. The second one is pretty large and will likely take ages to download, but the first one comes with everything you need to edit Nix code, including a fully configured Nix language server, pre-installed tree-sitter grammars and all plugin dependencies accessible with just one command. Alright, all of that is great, but now let's finally create our own configuration with NVF, since that's the point. Depending on your preference, you can use one of several ways to start using NVF, but the simplest one is probably to use a NixOS module, where all it takes is importing it with your NixOS flake, just like you would do with any other module, to get all NVF options accessible right in your NixOS configuration. Alternatively, you could also use a Home Manager module, or if you'd rather not couple your NeoVim with your system, my favorite approach, which is to turn your NVF configuration into a standalone package. To do it, all we have to do is expose a package built with NVF in any of your flakes. This approach allows us to run it with a single command on any machine just like we did with the examples from earlier, and this way the configuration will happen through NVF's own module system, meaning you will use Nix files no different in syntax from the one NixOS uses, just with only NVF's options present. Alright, enough about installation, let's finally talk configuration. And to demonstrate how easy it is to use NVF, I've added a few options that you may want to have in a pretty basic configuration. Like Lua Line for a nice status line, Telescope for a fuzzy finder, and VimCMP for a fancy completion menu and enabled Groovebox color scheme, since it is my favorite if you couldn't tell. And if you are wondering how exactly I know the option names and values to assign, well the NVF docs website provides a comprehensive list of options along with data types and examples and even includes a nice option search bar. But now, before we run our configuration for the first time, let's also enable some languages to get that fancy code completion and syntax highlighting. To do it, all we need is to enable LSP and TreeSitter support for selected languages and start choosing. I will enable Nix, TypeScript and Rust, and just like that, we will get access to all of these without any extra setup. Now let's finally start the editor, and boom, a very minimal but absolutely usable configuration with completion, a nice color scheme, and whole three language servers that you don't have to install and configure manually. You will also notice some preset sensible key bindings and options, all of which are thoroughly documented and of course can be customized. And by the way, lazy loading is also handled automatically, meaning you as an end user don't have to think about your plugin's loading order, because why on earth would you be responsible for that in the first place? Anyway, throughout this video I may have given the impression that NVF is all sunshine and rainbows, but of course there are some caveats to keep in mind, because as of today NVF is not even one year old, so many of your favorite plugins may be missing. Which is of course to be expected, as NVF does not focus on packaging everything right away, but building an easy to use extensible framework, which is exactly why the official docs provide detailed examples for packaging new plugins both with and without lazy loading, and since you can even reuse plugins already packaged in Nix packages there, chances are you won't have hard time giving NVF a try today. All in all, NVF is a pretty cool project to keep your eye on, and to finally address the elephant in the room, it does share a lot of similarities with NixVim, another NeoVim plus Nix project I covered in a video last year. However, once you try both, you will definitely notice significant architectural differences that set them apart in practice, so instead of straight up telling you which one I prefer, I urge you to try both and maybe even leave your thoughts down in the comment section, I'd love to hear them. 
And now, I'd like to thank all the amazing people that support the channel and keep it going, especially all of our great monthly members, of which we have one new member, so thanks Nick for signing up, your support is invaluable. And as always, don't forget to check out our Discord server, leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed this video, or subscribe if you're feeling extra generous. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.